Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I wanted to do an eyeshadow look based off of a picture that I found on Pinterest. Um, I actually thought it was really pretty. I'm trying to use colors that I wouldn't normally gravitate towards. I do like to use just the browns, the neutrals. That's just where I'm comfortable. So I figured, let me see if I can go ahead and recreate this picture. Um, again, this isn't my own. I did find it on Pinterest, but I figured today would be a good day to uh, to try it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture right now of the makeup look that I'm going to follow. So hopefully it comes out good. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started on today's video. Okay, so I have already primed my lids. Um, I went ahead and used this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I really, really like this concealer. I'm actually getting back into it, so I'm using this a lot more. And I went ahead and just set that with some Hourglass uh, Translucent Powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill Palette. This is the first one, this is what it looks like. So for starters, I'm gonna go in with, I don't, I don't know the name of the shades off the back of my hand but she went in with this shade first she went in with this one right here and it looks like she put that all over her lid so i'm going to just pick up any fluffy brush that i have i'm just going to go ahead and put that in my crease So I'm going to use that same brush and go in with this shade down here. Yeah, this shade down here. And it looks like she only put that on the outer corner. So I'm going to create a little V. I'm going to close my eye a little bit. And I'm going to blend this into the crease and kind of on the lash line a little bit. But I'm only going halfway. This color is coming out kind of splotchy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that just because I am going to add two other colors on top of it. And I guess this, the second color that I put shouldn't have been that dark, but we'll see. The next color she goes in with is number three, or the third color in her little routine. And that's this blue one, which I'm kind of intimidated about because if you can see, I've never used it. She goes in, I swatched it, but she goes in with this one next. And this one she puts on the outer corner. I'm gonna go in with this small tapered blending brush and I'm gonna pick up that blue shade, which is this one right here. I'm just gonna tap into it just a little bit. I don't even know that it's picking, yeah, it picks them up. And I'm going to add that right on top of the brown that we just added in the outer corner, just a little bit. And then I'm getting ready to go in with the same brush and pick up some of that purple, which is the color right next to it. So like I said, I'm picking up the same, I'm using the same brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade right next to it and pick some of that up and put that right under the blue, I guess so that the blue meshes with it. Let's see. I don't know if it's me or the brushes, um, but it's not blending as well as the other colors that I typically go for. Let me try my finger, I forgot about that. It's probably where I messed up at. I'm supposed to use these shadows with my finger instead of a brush. Let me add a little bit more of that blue at the top on both sides. And then I am gonna use the brush to blend it out. I'm just going back in with the same brush I've been using. Just blend them out. I think that's where I messed up. I forgot these shades. I'm probably supposed to use my finger. And then I buff them out with the brush. Now I feel like we lost some of the brown. 
So I'm gonna pick up another brush and go in with that original brown color, the very first one we used. I'm just gonna blend it at the top. Now, of course, I'm just going off of a picture, so I don't know if she actually did this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave it like that. It's not as pigmented as hers, but oh well. So the next color she uses is this one up here, right above the purple one. She uses this one, and she puts that in her inner corner. So I'm actually going to just use my ring finger and place that in the inner corner. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I'm going to go back in with that original shade and just kind of buff this out. Okay. She goes in with this shade down here. And adds that the outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with a different kind of brush which is a Real Techniques, I think it's just an eyeshadow brush, base shadow brush, which is this one, I've used it before. And I'm just gonna place that on the outer V. But like I said, she just places this on the outer, on the outer V to deepen it up a little bit. Damn, I have a crap ton of fallout. Okay, so this is not at all how this picture looks but it's how it came out for me. I'm sure they hurt. Yeah, because her purple and blue was a lot more prominent than what mine is coming out to be. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to go ahead and work on the rest of my face just because I do have to um, go back under it a little bit and, you know, finish the bottom mesh. So I'm just going to wipe off what I have. <gasps> Shit, that's a lot of follow. Holy crap, you see that? Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm actually out of makeup wipes. So I'm gonna use the little bit I have left in this uh, micellar water and clean that up. This is why you, you should do your eyeshadow before you do your face, because of that. Damn, that was a shit ton of fallout. I cannot believe that. I'm gonna go in with the uh, No Problem Primer. It's very smoothing. So it's the itty bitty bottle of Hourglass. Like I said, again, itty bitty bottle. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe sponge. This is already a damp sponge. go in with cream contour so I'm gonna go in with this it's a small concealer brush and I'm just gonna use it for my contour let me see I don't even know if this is still good anymore if I'm being honest And I am going with my Maybelline concealer. Put some on my forehead, down my nose. And just tap that in. Okay, now that my face is coming together a little bit, I do kind of like the way that this uh, eyeshadow looks. I'm not gonna lie. I remember one time I was doing this and I actually went over my eyelash, my um, eyeshadow and I had already done my eyeshadow. I think I left it like that too. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer and I'm using the Hourglass uh, Translucent Powder. I'm going to go back in with the same Morphe sponge and use this side, the flat side, where I added the concealer under my eye. 
And if I have noticed something that this powder is actually a little bit thicker um, than the other powders I have. Like I noticed that when I leave this on to bake, it's actually it actually makes me feel a little bit more dry under my eyes than I normally am. So I'm gonna try and work fast so that it's not sitting there for too, too long. I'm going to go in with my bronzer. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush. I think it's an e.l.f. brush. And just bronze up the face. Now remember, you do want to um, bring this down on your neck because your neck and your face are sometimes a different color. Just because I'm still learning, so I still get a little afraid. I'm going with the Wet n Wild blush, and I'm going to use just my Real Techniques blush brush. I went ahead and added that blush, and now I'm just going to go ahead and dust off the translucent powder I have under my eyes, just because I don't want it to be too dry under there. And I'm going to go ahead and blend out the blush and bronzer that I added. I may need to add a little bit more. I don't know that the camera is picking it up very well. Leave that and I'm going to do my brows. So I'm going to go back in with my eyes. I should have done that before I wiped off the translucent powder. I'm actually going to pick up a different powder and I know this one's not as um, drying as the hourglass. And I'm going to set my, I'm going to put that under my eyes so that I can do the bottom lashes. I'm going to use the Airspun, this is the Loose Face Powder, which is this one. So I'm going to go back into the Jaclyn Hill Palette, and I'm going to be using the shade, it looks like she put this blue on the outer corner, and then did the purple on the inner corner, or like, you know, closer to the eye. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe M432 brush, this is this one, I think it's like the Lord Definer, and I'm going to pick up the blue shade. Tap that off, and I'm going to place that on the outer corner of my eye, so which is right here. So I'm just adding that at the outer corner, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this eye real quick. And I'm going to go in with the same brush and just pick up the purple that we used also, which is the one right next to it, and just add a little bit of that. I don't think I'm going to go too far into the inner corner. And then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. smudge brush. This is a little brush that it looks like. I'm going to smudge it together. So that's it for the eyes, for the eyeshadow I should say. I'm going to go in with my liner and this is the Maybelline Master Precise Liner. Um, I actually like this one. So this is what this looks like. I like it and I'm just going to line a little bit. She has a wing. I'm not doing a wing. I'm just throwing that out there. So now I can go ahead and dust this off because it's just too much powder. Blend out my nose, dust off my face. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and add just a little bit of mascara. And I'm going in with this Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Actually, let's do this first. Before I add the mascara, I'm going to try to put on a pair of falsies. Go ahead and use the Ardell Demi Wispies. I have already cut these. I'm sure that they'll fit just fine. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of mascara.
then I am going to set my face and then add highlighter and I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now that my face is set, I am going to finally go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy highlighter. So oh, pretty. And this is what this looks like. Look at that packaging. I love that. And add that to the high. Oh my god. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. Gonna add a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with this Jordana lip liner. This is in the shade Rock and Rose. I actually really need another one because this one's like pretty old already. But that's the color. And I'm just gonna line my lips. So for me, because this lip liner is just a little bit dark, I don't like to um, color my lips all the way with it just because I want to keep some of the pigment from the lipstick without it being too too dark. I don't know if I want to go in with Forever or with Ariel. This is the Dose of Colors in Forever. This is the Mickey. This was the Mickey one. So I don't know if I want to use this one. Which would be pretty. Or if I want to use the Princess one. And this is in the shade Ariel. Which I actually do use this quite a bit. I, this, one's actually, this one actually stays in my purse. So I don't know what to use Ariel. Let me try it. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more pinky. Mm. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's a little too pinky. Let me go in with uh, Forever just in the middle. That's a little bit better. I'm gonna go in with Baddest Beige and put that right in the middle and that's what this looks like. Give it a little bit of a gloss. Okay guys, so this is the final makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see me try and recreate different looks, go ahead and leave me a comment in the section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.